Good morning. How are you? 10 a.m. Monday morning. It is a fabulous, beautiful day here in Granbury, Texas. And hello. Thank you for coming on today. Good morning, Stella. Good to see you again, my friend. So, this is Darla Morris, and I'm also known as the Lazy Daisy Stamper. And um, we are going to play a little bit today. I'm going to show you some beautiful projects. We're going to make them. And um, I don't know. When you pop on today, be sure and say hello. Good morning, Diane. Oh, is it? I wish. Well, it's chilly here, but the sun is shining bright. And it's going to warm up to probably the mid-70s, maybe maybe upper 70s, This I think, this whole week. So it's going to be a perfect day, week, for a change. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be good. Good morning, Shirley. I missed you this past weekend. I wished you'd have been there. Okay, so where am I? I am um let's see. What am I? <laughs> I'm a stampin' up demonstrator. Yes, I am. And we are gonna, like I say, have some fun. Oh, 40s. Yes, so if you do not have a Stampin' Up demonstrator already. I would love to be your girl. I would love to earn your business. I always give um, special perks um, and freebies when you place an order. Um, I try to take real good care of you. So um, when you come on today after saying hello, share this video. It helps me tremendously. And I do know that Shirley is here and Shirley is head of my marketing division. So. I appreciate her very much. She does an excellent job. <laughs> That's kind of a joke, an inside joke maybe. But anyway, um, uh, let's see. If you need a catalog, holler. I will be happy to send you one. And we are, so most of you may or may not know, we just had what is called On Stage. It's a um, convention of sorts for Stampin' Up! and it was just fabulous. Learned some good stuff. We had the cutest skit going on. They called it, what was it, Master Stamper? Oh, it was so cute. And of course it, you know, kind of copied Master Chef. It was a competition and it was hilarious. It, you gotta see that if you get a chance, go back and watch it because it's, it's pretty funny. So, I was saying, share my video. It helps me a lot, and I appreciate it. But you do have to tell me that you share it, otherwise I don't know. And you say, well, why do you have to tell me, and why do I have to share it? <clears throat> well, your name goes on my little wheel of fortune, and you will get a chance to win last week the previous week's projects for one. If you share it, your name gets on there twice. So you get an extra chance to win. And then at the beginning of each month, everyone that has shared my video goes on a special wheel and they win a special prize from me. So I haven't decided what it's going to be this month. Now last month, somebody, uh, I think it was it Sue? She lucked out because she got a stamp set. And I had stopped giving away stamp sets. And I'm just giving, uh, you know, packages of embellishments or designer series paper, you know, something, whatever. Uh, but I had double ordered a stamp set. I said I liked it so much, I ordered it twice. Now, I hate it when that happens. And I'm I'm quite sure it's happened to all of us. If you was honest, you'd tell me. Yeah. Thank you, Diane. You're my favorite person today. Thank you, thank you. Okay, a couple of things. First of all, Stampin' Up! has a joining special right now to the end of the month. Now, the joining special is always the best deal around, but now it's even better 
because you will get $125 worth of product of your choice. And you only pay $75. $75, people. $125 worth of your choice, not my choice, not stamping up what they think you want, what you want. So that alone is worth a ton. Plus, you'll get a previous paper pumpkin, you get free shipping, you get some free catalogs to share with your friends because, hey, your friends like to craft too, don't they? Just like you. So anyway, good deal. If you want some more information, and there's no obligation after that if you don't want to. You don't have to sell. You don't have to do videos. You don't have to do anything you don't want to, and nobody will bug you, and that's a promise. Okay, so joining special. Talk to me further if you are at all interested in getting a good bargain. Number two, paper pumpkins coming up. Uh, you've got until the 10th of December to sign up for it. They're always cute. They are all inclusive little kits. I call them my little Christmas gift each month because you, it's a surprise. You don't know what you're gonna get. They give you little sneak peeks, but you don't really know what you get. So that's a good thing. And I think they're like, what, 22 bucks? And that includes shipping? Heck of a deal. You will often get enough uh, to make, you know, anywhere from six to uh, 10 cards with matching envelopes. You get a, um, a stamp set with that. You get a, a stamping, an ink spot. I mean, everything that you need, it's in that kit. So it's a cute kit. They're normally lots of fun. If you've got uh, grandchildren that are old enough to color or, you know, six, seven, eight, own up. That would be so much fun to do these with your grandchildren each month. So good morning, Wendy. Glad to see you here this morning. Okay, so we've got joining special. We got paper pumpkin. Oh, one more thing. I'm working on an online fancy fold class. Now I'm up to nine fancy fold cards for you. Because I found another one this week. Good morning, Susie Q. Ha, the alarm clock worked on your what? On your uh, phone, didn't it? I hope. <laughs> Unless you deleted it. <laughs> okay, back to the fancy fold. So what you're going to do is we, I'm going to do everything on these projects except stamp. I will cut, die cut, emboss, whatever. For each project, you will receive a full packet. All you have to do is stamp and put together, okay? You will receive a PDF instruction sheet, and I will set up a special private Facebook group that on, oh, oh, I changed the date. Oh, shoot. I think I changed it to December the 18th. Isn't that a Saturday of December? I think it is. Because I was just looking at the calendar, and there's just no way I could do it the previous. That I just wouldn't have enough time to get all the product in and get it cut and get it in the mail, and you receive it. So I gave myself an extra week. So... I believe it's December the 18th. If that's a Saturday, that's when it is. Um, and I think I remember that because it's the day before my birthday. So, yes, I love instruction sheets too. But then on that, on that uh, private special Facebook page, I will put together each one of these special fancy fold cards. So if you have problems... You can see what I do. Uh, if I make mistakes, you can see them so you don't make them. <laughs> and the nice thing about it is, if you can't watch the 18th, because I know December is so busy. You know, the week before Thanksgiving, it's like 
Well, my favorite expression is like balls to the wall, but I don't think I should say that on Facebook. But it just gets real busy, okay? And I know everybody is busy. Yes, December the 18th, Susan, I believe. <gasps> Wendy, it is. Well, how about that? Good morning, Mary Beth. That's just crazy. I don't know about you, but I kind of hate having a December birthday. So many, many, many years, I got one present. Mama would say, of course, I, my mom, and it was just my mom and me. She was a single mom. And mostly I got one present and said, honey, this is for your birthday and Christmas. So, <laughs> bah humbug. Where was I? Oh, the Facebook private page. You can go back and watch it anytime you want to, for as long as you want to, forever and a day, because, like I said, I don't know how to delete it, so it's there forever. Well, December's a busy month, isn't it? Looks like it. Yes, I agree. Okay, so Fancy Fold online class. I'm almost positive I sent out an email with the details, and I think it's 40 bucks. I meant to print it off, but I didn't, so, and my memory is not that great. But anyway, um, contact me if you want some more information on that. So, we need to get on it. I think the deadline to sign up and to pay... Oh, thank you, Shirley. Well, you know they're not my cards. Y'all know that. I, I, uh, I case most all of my cards because uh, I'm just not that creative. But isn't it nice that you don't have to be that creative? I do. I think it's great because I want to be creative. I love making things, and I am a wonderful copier. I sure can do that. Okay, I think I got an email. Okay, good, good. All right, so I think that's all of, I'm looking at my notes over here. Hmm, yes, I think that's all. I'm going to turn the camera down, and we're going to spin to see who wins last week's project. So let me turn this camera down a little bit. There we go. And I got to tell you, these are some of my favorite cards I've made here lately. Look at that pretty thing. Woohoo! Isn't it pretty? And then, oh my gosh, I am in love with this card. Of course, it's green, which is always a good thing for me. And I love leaves. And I love these dies. Okay, enough of patting myself on the back. Let's spin to see who's gonna win these. Yes, here we go, here we go. Keep your fingers crossed, it might be you. I'm gonna take a drink of coffee while we are. Ooh. Oh, Nita. Oh, wow. All right, all right. I'll see her tonight. She's in my pottery class as well. Yay me. I don't have to pack it up and mail it. <laughs> all right. Congratulations, oh, Nita. She made a gazillion comments, y'all. I got to tell you. So, but that's how your name with your comments Get on this wheel with every comment. A name goes on here. A share, you get another spot on this wheel. So, I'm going to set this aside. And I'm going to have an M&M's with peanuts. Oh, I just happened to pull a green one out. Look at that. Ha ha. Mmm. Susan made a gazillion comments, too, and I was for sure thought she would win. I'm going to set that out of the way. While I'm chewing, here's how you find me. Lazy Daisy Stampers with an S. Dot stampin' up. Dot net. Now, 
I've got embossing powder everywhere because I did some embossing today for our cards. Okay, so when you place an order, and if it's on under $150, thank you for sharing, Susan. Please use this host code. Now, let me tell you, tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday, Stampin' Up! is having a, uh, I think they call it a seasonal sale. You're going to get 10% off of ink pads, 15 off of cardstock, and 20 off of dies, I think. Uh, check my website, Lazy Daisy Stampers, okay? It'll tell you all about it. And it starts tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday only. So that would be a great time for you to stock up on your cardstock or your ink pads. If there's a, a family of ink pads you've been working on, you know, our, our regals, our neutrals, our brights, you know, those type of families of colors. Hey, this is the great, great time to, uh, to catch up and restock and all that kind of good stuff. All right, where's our cards for today? Let me take another drink of coffee. Mm. I gotta wash that M&M down. Okay, so we are using, oh no, I'm gonna do the other card first because this one's a little more, um, I don't know, hard. Not really hard, it's just more uh, detailed. So this first card, I just love it. It is so simple. I saw it, of course I saw it somewhere. Can't tell you where. It was Facebook, uh, Pinterest, YouTube, somewhere like that. But isn't that pretty? Look at that. And this is so easy to make. You could not believe how easy this is to make. So, I've got my red rhinestones. I've got my real red um, ink pad. Oh, I love these uh, adhesive strips. Love those. And then this is our stamp set that we're using, but honestly, we're not using the stamp set at all. We're just going to use one of the dies. And you know, you could use you could use these. These are the ornaments. You could do the card in blue and use the snowflakes. You could make a um, you know, a fall card and use these pumpkins with all, you know, the same um, layout basically. So that's what we're gonna do. Time of giving, just the dies is all we're using today. And I'm using some of this um, real red ruffle, where, where, what's it say? Ah, mini ruffled ribbon. And this is real red because that's what our card, uh, not base, but first layer is. So, you know our card base, and I always... Uh, if it's white, I always use thick cardstock. I just like the way it feels better. You saw this card too, Diane? Yes, I did. I, thought, I just thought it was so, it's so simple, but it's beautiful. It just really looks elegant to me. I'm going to go ahead and attach this, and this is our first layer. Does anybody know the measurements of the first layer? I know you know it is four by five and one quarter. Did somebody get it? Oh, Stella. Okay, 10% off. Oh, I missed it. There you go, Stella. You are sharp as a tack today, honey. 
Oh, I can't go back and see what you wrote uh, earlier, Stella, but I'll, I'll look at it. But Stella was telling you what the sale is. All right, then, then this is our second layer, which that measurement is three and three fourths by five, okay? And that's gonna go like right there, but before we put it down, no, nope, that's, we're gonna, we're gonna see where we want to place this. So I kind of just dry fit it, kind of put it right there, and then I kind of want it down a little bit. Kind of make sure it's semi straight, you know. These are handmade, they don't have to be perfect. Oh, let me get my, this would fit in my mini, but it kind of scrapes the sides just, just a hair. And um, when I have a die that has straight edges, let me see, I'm not in, I'm not in the frame. There we go. When I have a die that has straight edges, when I put it through the embossing machine, I like to put it in at an angle. It goes through better. It's easier on your dies. They'll last longer. They won't bend and do all that kind of crazy stuff. And just run it through. I'm going to put that... to the side there and it just falls out I'm just being very careful with um, and take your take your pick tool and poke those out There you have it. Was that like a piece of cake or what? But before I glue it down, I'm gonna stamp, and which I should have stamped it before I cut it out, because if I mess up my stamp, then I gotta do another one, you know? Let's see, Merry Christmas this way. I love, 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 love this stamp set. Oh, and I'm using it in my other card as well. And I'll show it to you because these fonts, to me, are just so beautiful. I absolutely love this stamp set. I would say it is a must. <laughs> so, let's, uh, yes, keep your fingers crossed for me. Okay, here we go. Oh. oh dear, oh dear. My head gets in the way. That's just too bad. Okay, oh my goodness. So I'm just kind of leaving it there. I'm putting some pressure on it and letting that ink or that cardstock suck up the ink. Oh my goodness. Well, it could be better. It's a little bit, I need to re-ink my stamp, my stamp pad, but I think it's really not that noticeable. So I'm okay. I hope you're okay with it too. And you know, another thing you could do is you could emboss this. After you stamp it, of course, you could run it through an embossing folder. Um, did I pop this up? Cause I, th yes I did. Cause it does need to be popped up and that's what I got my strips out for. Now I remember. <laughs> it's a short trip over here some days, girls and boys. I'm just putting three strips on it. Oops. I pulled off the backing and not the strip. Uh, 
Okay. The only bad thing about uh, popping it up like this is you've got no wiggle room, basically. So you're kind of going to have to hit it right to begin with. So take your time. Kind of line it up. Uh, I'm, if you could get your head right over it, it would be a better deal, but we're just going to have to go with close. Well, it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think that's perfect, actually. Okay, so let's tie a little bow. And you know I like to do my little bunny ear bows. They just work better for me. There are other, way to, other ways to tie bows. And if you've mastered another way, go for it. So, and then I hold the knot and just kind of pull the tail and get that bow to the size that I want. And then I will uh, really yank down on that knot. So I'm going to put my tails together and cut at an angle. There you go. Well, I think that's pretty darn good. Let's see. Now I'm going to put this. Is it going to lay better that way? Oops. Oh, it's going to lay better that way. So I'm going to put the stick them on the back, the glue dot on the back. Now, you could put that bow over here. I chose to just put it right up here. Kind of center of the card. And then, our rhinestones. Let me get rid of my ribbon here. Sometimes my straight pins get real dull. I normally will run them through my hair, and I don't know really why, but it seems to work. Okay, so then you just got to decide, well, where do I want my rhinestones? And this side over here is just kind of lacking. So, you know, just wherever you like. Doesn't matter. And there's our first card. Look at that. So simple. These would make fabulous Christmas cards and they're not that difficult to do. You could get an assembly line going and man, that's just go. You can do bows now. Well, that's wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Mary Beth. <laughs> Looks good to me too, Jackie. Thank you. So here's your card. All right, number one, card down. All right, let me put some of this stuff up. And there's my card. I haven't finished finished it, but you know, I'll, I'll do something on the inside and I will decorate my envelope. So, voila, I'm gonna put that up, maybe. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. There we go. Okay. Now this next card, oh, it's so fun, y'all. You got scraps, right? Of course, we all have a ton of scraps. I did want to show you, this is the ribbon, the, uh, the uh, ruffled ribbon. It's in the mini catalog on page 74. And... Here is the bundle, which you automatically save 10% on, and it's on page 71 of the mini catalog, but again, we just used the dies. So there's where you can find those two items, and again, the dies are on sale tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday, so you would get Stella, was it 20% on the dies? 
So 20% off of 31, I think that's about six bucks off or, or so. All right, so our second card, we're using the, sta the same stamp set for Merry Christmas, because it's so pretty. That's why we're using it again. It's just party. And we got scraps, don't we? We all have a ton of scraps, and we all need to find, okay, good, 20% off, yes. So, yay, that's a big saving. So, I'm using the Gingerbread and Peppermint 6x6 Designer Series paper. You can use any paper that you've got, any scraps that you've got. And we are going to make a Christmas tree. So, one thing that I discovered, and you may know this already, but I did not. You know, the stamp set that was called, what was it, the right triangle, retired from last year's annual catalog. Well, I... You know, I keep my dies in the stamp set that it goes with. So these dies, which are the stitched triangles, I had in that stamp set in my BOGO items. Well, these dies did not retire. Can y'all believe that? Man, I almost messed up because I hate um, retiring good basic dies, you know, your circles, your ovals, you know, those. I try to keep those. Oh, Shirley, that is right. That is right. Um, the sale only pertains to our annual catalog. Thank you for pointing that out, Shirley. I had failed to mention that small little detail. So forget about those dies. They're not on sale because <laughs> they're in the mini catalog. Uh, yes, Mary Beth, I think it's the oils in your hair or scalp that will sharpen up your needle or your uh, straight pins. That always helps. Thank you, Shirley, for that. Yep, stitch triangle. So anyway, I used this big one right here. All right. Onward. So this is what our card looks like. Now, I got carried away. I'm not going to do this today. I made a shaker card. I got carried away, and when I started popping this up, I thought, oh, my gosh, this would make a great shaker card, and it does, but see, I got it all popped up. Isn't that cute? Oh, my gosh, how precious. Yes, these triangles are on sale, aren't they? Let me see. Where's my big catalog? Oh, they are. You are right. They're $35, and they are 20% off. So, yes. And I think that's all I'm using out of our uh, big catalog today. Okay, so I just got a bunch of scraps out, and I, I did go ahead and cut out uh, my triangle out of my white piece of paper. You just want to put it on here. Now, I'm not going to attach it because first I'm going to get this on here exactly where I want it. And then I'm going to take my pencil and I'm just going to outline. I didn't do this on my first card, but I really thought you know, that would help me placing my scraps on my red background. So, yeah, I thought, oh, that's a smart thing to do. So you can see where my scraps need to go, right? Yes. So what I did is I took my Seal Plus, and I am just covering it all. You could do the same thing with your um, liquid glue. 
that's good and covered. And then you just start laying your scraps out. And if you need to cut some of them down, we'll just do it. It's okay. Okay, I like this one for the bottom. I'm going to take my snips because I don't want it. I, okay, so you don't want to just lay it down and your strips go from side to side, okay? Because this paper is smaller than your red paper. So that's why I drew my tree. So I'm gonna lay that down there and then I'm just gonna snip that off right there because I don't need it any longer. That's gonna fit. And I wanna be careful not to put it too far down or too far to the top so that it shows outside my white layer. So there's that one. And now I want to find something that will kind of go with that a little bit. That'll work. I want to snip that off. And all you want to do is just make sure and be careful that you don't bring bring it out, okay? And they're going to get smaller with each with each little layer. You do want to be sure you go outside your pencil mark, okay? That is something that you do want to make sure you do. Okay, I want to really thin strip. That'll work. Okay. And you just build your little tree up. Now the reason you want to go outside your pencil mark is because when you do lift your card with dimensionals, you know, you, you want to have your paper covered in other words. I think I want that to be a thinner strip. So I'm going to cut this down thinner to about, I don't know what it is, maybe a quarter of an inch. Maybe it is. Okay. Because you want different uh, thicknesses on your card or your tree, you want it to be different thicknesses. Okay, what else do I need on here? Oh, I love, 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 love this green stripe. Imagine that, green. There is some beautiful paper in this, uh, in this paper pack. And it doesn't matter if you overlap a little bit. That, that's okay. You can do that. Let's see. What do I want? I want something different. Maybe this one. And I think this is going to go all the way to the top. So... Just in case it doesn't, I'm going to put a little bitty one at the top. I don't have much. We just don't want a, a bare spot. And I'm still inside my, my border that I need. So there's our scrappy Christmas car, uh, Christmas tree. Pretty cool. Okay, so now, and I would, if it were me doing this, I would run this through an embossing folder with maybe some snowflakes or uh, polka dots or whatever. That's what I would do. But that, uh, that gives you, um, you know, kind of an idea of different things that you can do. So I'm going to put that, like that. I love these strips. I don't know if y'all use them at all, but I really, really, really like them.
Yes, we all need to use our scraps because we're all uh, hoarders to some degree, aren't we? I know I am. Okay, so then I'm just going to support this up here a little bit. Doesn't have to be... Um, all crazy. I just don't want it sagging in places. It might be a bit of overkill. I've been known to do that. Can anybody relate? And then I'm just going to take it off. Now, at this point, if you was doing a shaker card, you would have put your acetate on before you put your uh, strips, okay? But I'm not doing another shaker card. Okay, I think I've got them all off. Oops, no, not that one. Okay, now I think I got them all off. Okay, now here's another tricky part. No wiggle room. So, very carefully. Look up there. Isn't that a cute Christmas tree? Now, I went ahead and um, heat embossed this on white with gold. And I'm going to put it right there. And then I've got a star. And I have no idea where it came from. It was just in my stash. I wonder where I put it. Hmm. It's kind of going to not be good without my star on the top. There's my window sheet that I chickened out making a shaker card for you. Well, I don't know where my stars went. I cleaned up my desk pretty good. Oh, here they are. Yay me. Oof. Okay, like I say, I have no idea where these came from. They were in my stash. I'm almost positive they are stamping up. I just don't know where they came from. Okay, on this, I'm just going to pay attention and I'm just going to glue on the outside of my fingers right here. And I'm not taking it all the way out to the end because I'm going to have to cut them off. Okay? So... That looks pretty good like on that. It needs a few minutes to dry so it doesn't move, but then you just take your snips and I hate to lose that because that's so pretty. That's a pretty part, isn't it? And like that, and then we will attach it to our card. I got to be careful not to move that. Okay, there you go. 
I'm holding it down for a few minutes. I could have put some dimensionals under here. Let me see if I can. I think that's gonna, I think it's gonna need it, if you know what I mean, just for, I don't want it to sag. So I'm taking off the backing. I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna ease it right under there. Hmm, that kind of makes it go down because it's not the same thickness as my strip. Okay, so when y'all make it, put your strip on this one, okay? Because I don't like that. You can tell it kind of kind of makes a little dip. Okay, oof, quit your fussing. Okay, there's my shaker card. Too cute for words. But again, I would um, put this through an embossing folder because it's kind of plain if you ask me, but hey, you know me, I'm over the top here. Okay, let's bring in this other card. There's our two cards for, for today. I hope you like them. Hi, Donna. Watch the replay. These are some pretty cards, honey. Okay, where am I? There I am. Hi. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed these two cards today. They're really both very simple, and they're really pretty. They look hard. They look like, um, I love that card. Yes, dies. Good. Good, Mary Beth. Thank you, Diane. So, uh, again, wait till tomorrow to place your orders. Please use my host code. Holler. Uh, talk to me. Um, I'll help you in any way that I can. So, if you was, uh, if you did attend on stage, you know that we get to pre-order out of the new catalog. And if we wait till tomorrow, we not only get to pre-order, we'll get our celebration plus whatever we order that's on sale tomorrow, we're going to get celebration. So... Tomorrow is a big day for demonstrators and customers. So, tomorrow, early, 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 I'm going to be on the, on the computer ordering. So, that's it for today. Okay, yes. Oh, good. I'm under an hour. I like that. Thank you for coming and spending some time with me. I hope I've inspired you to use some of your products from Stampin' Up, I hope uh, you have a good idea how to use some of those scraps that we always have. And um, I will not be here next week. Jack is having a back procedure, so I would appreciate your prayers on that. Um, and then, gobble, gobble, gobble. Happy Thanksgiving to you all. Take care. Love those around you, and I'll see you when I see you. It'll be a Monday, okay? Bye-bye, y'all. Take care.